Hey guys, what's up? I'm back here on the channel. We we're actually uh, at the car car show here, and uh, well, it's, it's they call it the car museum, okay? And um, they have a variety of different cars, custom designs, sports cars, trucks, and I want to talk a little bit about all of these different designer cars that you guys are going to see here in this particular video and this particular um, tour and uh, I want to talk about definitely the artistic side of things you know the creative side of things so in a couple other videos I talked about a design process that we use in UX design and it uses like the four principles of design which is discovery define design develop and that's what takes place a lot of times when designing vehicles, cars, trucks, homes, um, as well as, it mainly applies to application design. But a lot of these vehicles have applications in them. As you know, from driving your car, your, your, your car has different um, interactive features, right? That allow you to have um, control over certain things like the air conditioning, how the seat moves back and forth, right? So all of these are creative things that are used in interactive design. And they're also, I found, and the daily things that we use, like our cars, bikes, motorcycles, things that we drive, and also things that we live in. But I wanted to talk about the design process because that's what we discuss here on the channel. Like my custom design shirt, Hildebrand Lifestyle shirt. So as a designer, we first come up with an idea. We call that idea, we call ideas concepts. And once we have that concept in our mind and in our head, we may provide a sketch. Um, several different sketches, right? Several different iterations of a sketch before it actually goes to production. But before we get to the sketching part, right, we have to first determine what kind of car or truck are we trying to build. And that's the discovery part. That's the part where we go into discovery. And we have to determine during discovery what kind of vehicle will we design or will we ultimately create and then once we have an idea of what during discovery what kind of automobile that we want to build we have to go through a defining stage and the defining stage allows us to determine what's actually going to be used to actually build say for instance a Hummer what is it going to take to build a Hummer so we have several different iterations and varieties of Hummers on display here, right? So you may have two or three different variety of Hummers, right? So you, could, you have a variety of different starting points, right? From a new style Hummer to an old style Hummer, and you can actually begin to take away from the old and bring it into the new, right? So what I'm saying is, is that you have something to measure. You have something that, can, that you can use to measure or determine how you're going to design something. Well, a lot of times, what if it doesn't exist? You know, what if it's never been created before? As they say, there's nothing new under the sun. What you're doing now has already been done, right? So I'm just saying hypothetically, if something doesn't exist, you have to find a way to create, to create it. You have to find a way to create it. And the way that you can create something is you can first build what we call in design is a prototype. So like this, this little car behind me could be considered a prototype, right? A prototype of some sort that, that gives you an idea of what it could ultimately be. Chad, Chad and a cool. prototype is not actually the real thing. 
but it gives you a really good idea, a really good idea as to what is possible. And then from there, we can begin to iterate it so we can get it to a more polished and finished product. For instance, like, this, like these vehicles behind me. You know, at some point, they all, all of these vehicles went through these phases in which I'm, 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 I'm talking about. It used these principles to build or ultimately come to, come to these conclusions or, the, or this resolution, right, as to what we have in front of us today. So it just didn't happen. And I'm trying to basically holistically give you an overall view as to how something like this is created. Not just to show you fancy cars and say, you know, look, just, just look how cool this looks. I mean, that's, that's ultimately the, the end result, right? But I just wanted to educate you a little bit as to how we get to that point. Because getting to that point, the process of getting to that point, to me is more important than the finished product. Because if you can understand a process, then that means that one day you can create something of your own. You can design something of your own. But we have to first kind of have a set of formula, right? A process to get to this point. And a lot of people don't know where to start. You know, they have no clue. They just know they want something cool or they want to build something or design something, but they just don't have a clue as to how to go about doing it. And what I'm trying to share with you, um, not just showing you the cars, but giving you an idea as to where you can start. Um, and then from there, you can have other discussions about you know, what colors you want to use, what features, how cool you want it to look. You know, all of the, the, all the things that we call a design aesthetic. But that's usually done in the design phase. And then like after the, that design phase, takes place, you can go into what we call development, a development phase. And that development stage is what ultimately comes out to something so beautiful, so appealing to the eye, as we call it, eye candy, the beautiful eye candy, you know? So when you hit the strip with your new whip, you know, <laughs> that kind of rhymes, right? When you hit the strip with your new whip, everybody's like, ooh, and then on. But you, as a designer, as a creative, you knew exactly what it took to get to this point, to make these dreams possible. You knew exactly what it took. Just from watching this video, you get an idea of a design process that you can use and you can apply when you're thinking about creating something or even when you're looking at something that has been created. You have an idea in your mind of what the designers, engineers, had to go through to make a prototype like the one you see behind me, right? Or to build a monster truck, right? Um, or to build this Mercedes truck, you know? So all of these vehicles and that you see in this video that I'm showcasing here have all gone through a design process. And that's what I really wanted to share with you guys today. Um, not so much of just the beautiful cars, because I could just walk around and show you beautiful cars. That's cool, anybody can do that. But I try to enlighten people on my channel. I try to give you a bit more than just visuals, you know? Give you something that, that can help you create your own, develop your own. And maybe you will, maybe you won't. But at least you have the knowledge. You have some sense of knowledge you have a, a sense, it's more like a gift. It's up to you to use it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I enjoy sharing with you guys. And as I continue to come across new and exciting ideas, I wanna to continue to share them with you here on the Lifestyle, Pull the Brand Lifestyle channel. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments please leave them below i would love to hear your comments your feedback and i look forward to um seeing you guys in the next video okay until the next video guys peace love and everything
All right. I drink a little water. I'm a little thirsty. Been talking so much. All right, guys. Till the next video. Peace. Oh, if you want to support the channel, you know you can get one of these designer t-shirts for the brand lifestyle t-shirts. But if not, just click the thumbs up button. That's 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 support as well. All right, guys. Peace.